Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Klein, licensed marriage and family therapist and certified sex therapist. As a sex therapist, I see lots of people who are engaging in online sexual practices. Some people, for example, are involved in Second Life and uh, people have avatars on Second Life and sometimes those avatars are sexual with each other. And it gives some people the opportunity to experiment with sexual activities that they don't want to do in real life or that they um, are hesitant to do in real life. They don't have a partner who's willing to cooperate uh, in real life. So Second Life can be a chance uh, sexually for a Second Life. And it raises some interesting ethical questions uh, along with some other questions. Most people when they get into a relationship they say let's be sexually exclusive but they don't have a long list of what that means. Uh, no slow dancing with somebody if you get an erection, you know, things like that. So um, one of the things that people typically don't talk about when they enter into their sexually exclusive arrangement is what about online activity? Uh, what about chatting about sex with a stranger? What about uh, talking to someone uh, while you're looking at a computer? What about Second Life? Is it okay uh, for someone in a sexually exclusive relationship with this person here to have an avatar who has sex with uh, another avatar over here? And in fact, we could even talk about something more specific like what if, uh, what if your husband's avatar has sex with your sister's avatar? Is that okay? So uh, people uh, wrestle with this in different ways and some people um, have a sense of humor about it. Some people are very, very threatened uh, by it. And as a therapist, my job of course is not to make judgments as much as it is to help people communicate, to talk about their values, to talk about what's important to them and to talk about what they want and why they want it.